high milligram GA is okay. Uh, it's gonna be really bad. Really, really bad. But you can only hope for the best. I would like to actually keep double Poros next. It would be nice to get some Poros though. Wow, this hand is okay. I guess I should have at least mulligan one of the Poros next. I mean, to be honest, I didn't know I was gonna get this. Like, two, two of them as well, which is kind of surprising, but sure. Hopefully, he doesn't have like the best hand in the, in the world, so I can actually be able to play my plays. So, uh, I can play this turn. Um, play you. So I play Lonely Poro here. Oh wait, misplay. I should not have played Lonely Poro. Now he creates another Poro and I'm gonna be burning a card. And I could just burn Poro King here. That was such a misplay. Um, that's fine. He's not playing a Sector spell, that's so weird. I should just say this one, right? Or the Impact one, that was such a misplay. Hopefully I don't burn something useful. That was actually a pretty good card, because he could high rose and would be worth to be honest. Oh, okay, I need to play this now because this is big out can actually pop a dash unit. This is actually insane to be honest. What is this card? Block I think I'll just play the tough one. Next turn we'll do a first play. I'll just play double force next next turn will be fine. I think I'll oh there's Poro King, but you're not fit just yet. I think I'll play with one. And Half spec priority, so I won't be putting any card in next. Snack, I can usually just go force snack into blocking, right? I think, ah, that, I have no response to high medina. This deck just sucks at doing anything other than just playing portals. Hmm. Mid. Oh my god, okay, that's too much portal snack, okay? Like, a bit too much for my comfort. Shock blast, though. He always has shock blast, right? Portal snack, portal snack. Both will just survive. Barely. I'm gonna play this to block the bash unit most likely. This is gonna hit for 6 damage because duh, that's pretty good for him, huh? So play you. I could play Poros Story, which should create me 3 more Poros, which should basically play Poros King, which I most likely go for. Go give me the Challenger one or the new Poros would be nice. I can challenge uh, Hibernator potentially. If only I had, if only this portal was buffed by one more attack, right? So it could actually make a difference against that. Now that is alive, could do more damage to my face, which I don't really like. Normally, you don't want to take damage most of the time. Sure, that's elusive. Hmm. I think I play the U into elusive in the favor portal and see what keywords I can grant them. Um, now do I actually Poro Snacks here? It's a pretty good Poro Snacks. I think I will go for that. It protects my units and buff everyone as well. Of here. So maybe I actually attack you. I can attack. I'm not gonna play. Uh, do I? It's a 5-5. Five five. There's no. There's nothing in his region that. And uh, there's nothing that he has that 4 mana keep a 5-5 five five unit. So this could bonk and just prop the thunder effect to give me something useful. Which I think I might need, to be honest. Don't. Okay, that's fine. Go already solved here. Um, and most likely just attacking and very quickly. If you use the 7 1 to block the 5 5, that's fine. I was going to use this unit to block the 7 1 either way, right? Because this was the only unit that can block the bash unit. At least one of the attack actually goes through, so this could actually give me some keywords, which would be pretty helpful. Like, life speed would be amazing. Spell shield would be. Decent actually, so it doesn't get tired. Overwhelm is good for killing enemies for sure, but not good for you know defending my health from elusive units. I have no frostbite as well, so that's not concerning at, at all. Poro King is flip. I could play Poro King into Daring for the Poro Snacks would be fine. I'm always blocking this. The I'll just block like this a bit. I could ah can't worry about a Q spell again. That is completely destroys Poro King here. So I might play Poro Turbo, uh, the one that, that draws a Poro Turbo. This is pretty good. It challenges Heimerdinger, which is nice. I'm then forcing him out to play a 6 or spell now, basically. Shock Blast, okay, that's really good. It does pop the spell shoot, but that's fine. I wanted to force a 6 or spell, that means he can't play Vengeance here. So I can actually play Poro King into another Poro to get the uh, special Poro, basically. So I play Poro King here always. So, Poro King is split now, it's a 9-9, it doesn't really matter to be honest, because it doesn't have any keywords, like at least give Poro King overwhelm, like come on, he's so bad. Um, 
so I play one on the one across portal here, a challenger one. Doesn't really matter, I just need the unit portal. And this is actually really good. It frost bites the one health elusive unit, which is really good. Um and that's fine. That is annoying, does create him potentially ruin the board. But next turn will be 8 mana, right? So you can't play it just yet. Actually it will be 9 mana crap, I forgot about that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I could play Bearing Portal, first of all, to see what portal snakes I get. The impact one is really good. I was hoping for the the rainbow one, right? So I can actually get random keywords for all my portals. That would be premium, but it's fine. I might go... Don't, don't display Ruination here, come on. I'm guessing... Um, I can protect that, but I'm, I actually want to play Paper Portal, right? So I can actually give random keywords, sadly. To be honest, I can go portal, 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 that'd be hilarious, imagine. <laughs> but I think I'd rather just let that die, right? Just, uh, the Ogum on that portal doesn't really even match. Elusive, elusive, challenger life too. Okay, so now portal king is actually, you know, doing crap, to be honest. I could play a second one, but I don't want to overcommit, because again, ruination is a thing. Keep that in mind. Um, I can commit here. Even if he uses elusive unit or something about uh, Portal King, I'm gonna just use this to force by all uh, three or less health units. So these two units that he's gonna elusive unit that he might block with might not do any damage to any of my Portal Three. This is fine because um, I just want Portal King to heal me basically. This big shot is fine again. This is counteract that. Oh, it frostbites a unit. Oh, I thought it would frostbite the whole ball of enemy that three have three or less health to be honest kind of sucks <laughs> they only frost fight with one but it'd be kind of broken if it actually did it uh, um, this is um one two three four five we five extra damage it, it, it's not that bad on idea here i'm sure why not it's 11 damage now basically so i'll take it i guess so Hammerding is dead, he only has one more elusive unit. I'm back to 20 health, so and I have two more elusive units on board that could block his 6-1. And that this tag is fine, I don't care. And I would create more portals with the this spell as well. I was actually pretty lucky that I drew into so much portal snacks and stuff like that. There's no way he attacked, it makes no sense. Um I'm a party. He might play the card that gives uh that summons tech card, right? And spends all his mana, that's fine. Commit here. Just block that instantly. I think I'll just play this into the a, a one cost portal, right? Like this one is fine. So I can get a portal snacks from the portal king. Even if he like it has ruination. At least I still have the uh the unique portal, right? A uh, portal snacks. It's really not playing anything. He's gonna die next turn if he doesn't play anything, I think. I I'm just kinda afraid if I play favorite portal, I just die instantly freaking ruination, bro. Plus six, plus six. That's how many portal snacks I play. I play like five portal snacks. Um, you for you. This is most likely game. Yep, GG. Wow. Oh my god. Portal actually wins against a meta deck. Wow. I actually kind of surprised, to be honest. Good thing you didn't have Jace head to even. Nah, Seraphine. Interesting guy. He's playing uh, subtype and random spells on Kyoto. Pretty weird deck. Um, Lonely Portal seems fine. Portal King. Actually, maybe you want to model Lonely Portal because you want to actually find Portal Snacks. Because even if you had a white, you have a white border Portal, it doesn't really matter ultimately because you just don't have enough stat to actually beat over your opponent, right? So Portal Snacks might be way better than a Lonely Portal. I was looking for it, but in the end, I got Flash Free, so that's interesting. Um, nothing to play on one and two though. I'm not gonna play you. It does nothing. Wow, okay, portal, okay. I do want favorite portal, but I mean, I do run other cards, other units, other portals, which is like one cost. Be great to have them right now. Um, oh, okay, interesting. Not bad, I guess. Sure. I think I'll just play one of them and just pass back fire. So I can just bank the three mana for both portal snacks next turn if I want to. Hopefully I draw into a one cost portal, so I can play the portal into this, so I can manifest another portal. Uh, sadly did not. Honestly, I might just play this dry. But let me just portal snacks again and pass that. He is forced to play something, maybe formula? As a draw? Oh wow, he, he's- Oh, I see it now. I guess that makes sense. 
would like to play this, but I think it's a, like a horrible idea. But I'm gonna just play it. It's a 4 7. Like. Oh, we're on 4 7. Okay. Um, could be worse. Helps level Portal King, so Portal King is 1 out of 6. I guess I should not have Port Mulligan the Lonely Portal Heart. Would you look at that? He's thinking some reason. He, does he have anything that has 5 spells, uh, 5 mana that can do this? I'm not quite sure. Why is he going for? He can't even play the card. I'm pretty sure those two units are just too high cost to two mana to actually be played, right? So yeah, he just played that one, I think. I guess he wanted to just buff his deck, which makes sense. And just flip Seraphine. Yeah, that was four cards, so he can't actually play that sadly for him. Oh my god, I drew into triple portal snack. What are your what are the odds of that? Huh? Him playing Song Spinner now is pretty good. Uh because that basically means that he won't be able to duplicate Seraphine in later turns because he, he's gonna create uh, new spells now. So and Seraphine's not yet flipped yet. Also pretty good sign that he might his hand might be this bad bad that he needs to go for Song Spinner here, which is also pretty good news. Hopefully he doesn't create too good of a 2 for spells though, that's this for sure. Like some pretty weak ones would be great. I'm always gonna play Portal King here I guess. He only has 1 mana and I'm not, I don't think those 3 cards will be able to kill Portal King. That's fine. More buff spells, sure. We picked a unit over here, so that's definitely a unit. Could be something big. I'm not quite sure though, just yet. This the chart? Okay. That's the new card that was created by Song Spinner. Let me just play Portal King here. Also, oh yeah, I forgot that the Portal King Champion spell is also the draw two different portals. I forgot that actually the, it's the Portal King Champion spell because I don't always have double Portal King in hand. Most of the time you only have one to be honest. Which I think I'll go for it. Let me. That's a sick animation to be honest. That's Lonely Portal. What's up? I miss you my brother. So I'm gonna play you. Lose it, look at that. Pretty nice. And the portal snacks as well. So two, three, four. This would also manifest me a portal potentially. Oh my boy. god. You okay, I can respect that. He's playing a random deck. I know my deck is not that random and it's more of a port centric deck, but this deck sucks at doing anything else other than just playing portals, so both of our deck is basically just memory stuff. I think I should just attack and attack. No wait, no way attack with this, I just attack with this unit. Next turn, I, I'm saving this so next turn I can just play this and get another Poros next from the Poros King. It's not the the 2 mana one, the special one, but at least it's another Poros next to buff on my future portals. Because I'm thinking that he's most likely gonna be clearing my board with very nice into something like that, so at least I have something to develop. Like oh, storm, we call him Poros King. Change. He created a guy, didn't he? Yeah, that's no, he's not in Ionia, so he can't actually play that. That's fine again, that is annoying, but I'm just gonna replay him. <laughs> One, two, five. I actually I would be burning a card if I play uh, the portal with tough sadly. He got this from the song spinner. Okay. Pass here. If he attacks that would be dumb with the little unit because I'm gonna go for this. But that's fine. Block block and shoot on now. Mid. Sadly, won't be able to pop the Portal King effect for now because um, I don't have enough mana. And even if I want to, I will be burning a card, which is not normally you want to go for that. Normally, you don't want to burn any card. Portal stories here? Nope. I'm gonna go with you now. So, another Portal Snack. Pretty good. He's almost flipped. He's 4 out of 6. This would create me another Portal, which would be good. Oh, wow, okay. You better be playing some amazing cards. Could be another Backily Bar. Uh, Backily Keep, actually, which I can respect. So I'm gonna just take you and create another portal here. Um, this is a new portal, right? And this would actually summon another portal. So would that actually count as the portal king effect? If it's a new one, let us test this out, shall we? Since he's playing a uh, slow deck as well, I can actually have time to develop this unit. Yep. Okay. Cool. Six out of nine. Okay. It's also a pretty interesting deck. He's playing spells, and this still can buff those units up. Not playing Hyperdinger Jace or he's not playing uh, Nasus Fenga, which I both decks I just instantly lose to basically. Like zero to no chance for winning against those decks. So let's hope for the best that this actually summons a new portal that would prop the portal king to actually level. So I'm gonna take you. So just put something good. It's not a new portal, so sadly, portal king will not get here. Freezes, okay. 
Again, I don't really mind. As long as you just letting me do my crap and I'm letting you do your crap. Sooner or later, one of us is gonna die, though, obviously, that. Which I'm kinda actually scared of because, again, Seraphine plays the most dumbest crap I have ever seen. I wanna have hand space to play this, though, sadly. And play Portal Snack into another Portal Snack. Okay. All my portals are plus 5, plus 5 now, so pretty good. He might be doing shop shenanigans, that's fine. Uh, I was hoping for that to actually summon another portal when he's attacking, so that would actually potentially, again, potentially level porking, but he did, so yeah. Another one, okay. I think I'll play one first of all. And play Elf Challenger one, it's pretty good. I can put Seraphine here, so I will be getting a portal snack. That portal can be flipped here. This is a new one, I'm pretty sure. So pretty nice that portal can flip here. I could play the Sinister Portal as well to replace the two one. And that would give me a special portal, which I think I would love to have right now. I only got in the Frostbite one and the Impact one. It would be nice to have the one that gives random keywords. Actually, I just instant win, right? If I have the instant win, that's... Okay. I hear you, Zon. Now you're about to hear me! That might actually be the card that transforms a unit into another unit because I don't think that he's going for progress day. There's no way he's going for progress day. He passes back, he doesn't play anything, which is totally not concerning at all. Um, Challenger one. Um, it's fine. I was hoping for the, the rainbow one. I haven't seen that in a while. Or at all. I think he's still passing back, surprisingly. Why? Um, you pull you, act like a give you and you challenger, I guess. You pull you and you pull you. You pull you. So this would be a lot of damage to the face. And let's see if he has any response to this. Sadly, need to end your fun, my friend, because I'm not playing around with freaking very nice potentially in your deck, right? So. Again, he could have something like maybe he played, he could have frostbite. Oh yeah, he's in Farid as well. He could have actually have frostbite. Forgot about that. The frostbite will actually think It's just playing pure tower cards. That's why I really keep thinking about like actual frostbite cards. Does he have it? He has two of them, I guess. By snow and Transform. Stars. So he is going for that. He's transforming... Who is he transforming? He's from transforming this into Bakalipa. He is pinging... Um... Okay. I have four snacks. I don't think that wins though, right? Yeah, that doesn't win because... It only boosts this attack, but that's fine. Um... I know it doesn't win, but I'm just doing it because I know after he passed the party back to me, I'm just gonna do that anyway. So why not just sneak in the one damage? What if I create the impact portal right? This would be a That's good winter. useless, but sure. I mean, I guess he's that so he can uh, play his first three cards, right? So that's fine. It's not like I really wanted to end the fun anyway, right? Because I have this as well, and I have table portal as well, giving my portals random keywords. So I love to stay, to be honest. Oh. What could this be? That's a 7-7 seven seven quick attack. Another one? What is he going for? He still still loses to my Poros. My Poros is like way bigger than him. I have two Poros next in hand as well. Like, come on. I love to see that. That's more randomness and more good Poros. Love that. He attacks? Okay. Sure. I'm gonna just block like that, I guess. Look here. Um, sure. Level portal snacks is a nice dad. Um, sure. You. You. Yeah. So, we need to ping this off again. So, table portal here? Um, sure, why not? It's a 4 course 11, 14. Give me a special portal as well. The frostbite one, like, come on. Portal King has il 
uh, Porking a spell shield, let's go. So he can't actually very nice. Though. Um, sure. I guess he, even if he was going for that, I had four spike in hand, so in the end, it doesn't really matter, but sure. So I think I just play you in some more portals, right? Um, why not? So I create a special portal. Oh, right. Can I skip the 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 one that gives random keywords? One, like, come on, I have booty. Sure, he doesn't frost by anything as well, though, which is kind of funny. Um, I'll just attack for now, I guess. Just let me take a win. Just go you, 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 you. And, and why not just play my boss then? Loop, 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 loop. All my portals are plus. plus 11, 11. Oh my god. It's a 1 cost 12, 12 with quick attack. It's a 1 cost 12, 12 with regen, overwhelm, and tough. That is the most portal snacks I have played in one game. Yep, GG. Good thing I was playing against a pretty freaking slow deck. Yeah, it was not consistent at all. He's playing a mean deck, so I was able to actually ramp up my pull, so GG.